can I ask you a question? What's some of your favorite brands out there? Clothing brands, shoe brands, any type of brands. And what is it that you like about them? Why do you buy from them? Why are you so loyal to them? I bet you it has a lot to do with their branding. So today we're gonna talk about building a brand from scratch. What's up icons? It's the iconic fashion figure. And let's continue to turn up the heat just like we're about to turn up the attention on your brand. This is day 11 of Heat Wave Hustle, your ultimate summer success boot camp. And let me walk you through today exactly how you're going to build a brand around your business. And I am going to do that with five simple questions. And I promise you by the time you're done with answering my five questions, you're going to have a brand. Question number one, have you created your brand page yet? I've given you a template already in previous videos so hopefully you've created it but if you haven't I'll link that brand page down in the description box for you because that's where we're going to start with creating your brand. And when it comes to creating your brand there are a few key components that you want to make sure you've established. One is a good name. Now you probably already have come up with your name but if you haven't registered it yet think about how it compares to other brand names. Is it too similar to another brand? You don't want to have a name too similar to another brand because when people go search it, especially if it's a popular brand, they'll come up first before you. Make sure it's one that's not too difficult to pronounce. Of course, you can be unique. This is your brand, but sometimes when it's too hard to pronounce, it's hard for people to search for it too, especially like the spelling. So you want a name that's easy to find, easy to share with others. Two, creating your logo. You're going to have different variations of your logo. You'll have a logo that's long. You'll have a logo that's square. You may have a symbol to go with it. There's different variations of logos because you have different purposes for each of those variations. So create your logos and make sure you have different formats of your logo. Your color palette. Color palettes set the tone for the type of brand you have. So let's say you use neon colors. It'll give off that vibe of like a happy, bright, colorful, cheerful brand, maybe even young. You have more neutral tones that can give off unisex. It can also give off luxury. So colors matter and you want to create a color palette so that way you're using those same colors throughout and then choose your fonts for your brand you need a font for your logo which is usually like your main font for your brand but then you need like a header font a subheader font and a font for the body and those fonts you use in marketing you'll use on your website using emails those fonts are important it helps again to set the aesthetic for your brand and if you choose to you can create a tagline also known as like a slogan so this is basically explaining what your brand is about and a single line in a nutshell. When you create your brand page, you're going to use that brand page every day of your business because you want to make sure to keep it consistent across the board. So on the website, in social media, and marketing, anything that you're doing with your brand, you're using those same colors, you're using those same fonts, you're using those same logos, you're using your brand name, you might even have a nickname for your brand name too, you're using your tagline. All of that is going to stay consistent across the board and you'll always refer back to your brand page. At some point you won't look at the brand page anymore because it's just stuck in your head. You know your exact colors, you know your fonts, but in the beginning that's something you'll have to keep referring back to. It also helps when you're hiring others or you're working with a third party that's creating something for you. You can send the brand page over to them so they make sure they keep it consistent with your branding. That's question number one. Have you created your brand page yet? If not, please get to it. Create that brand page because you're going to need it. Question number two. Can you tell me what's the purpose? of your brand. Every brand has a purpose. So to break this question down into sub questions to get you to understand what your brand's purpose is, what is it that you do? And when I say you, I mean your business. You are your business at this point. So what is it that you do? In that question, you want to explain the product or service that you offer. Now, how do you do it? In this question, you're showing what sets you apart from your competition. Now, why do you do it? This question is explaining your brand story. Tell the motivation behind your brand. Now we're going into question number three of five. What is it that you can promise your customers? So in this question, you're sharing your brand's values. What is it that you stand behind? And again, when I say you, I mean your brand. What is it that your brand stands behind? And this is your opportunity to really build emotional connections with your customers because that is extremely important when building a brand. You want that emotional connection with your customers because that usually what makes them gravitate 
gravitate to you and keeps them coming back. So again, what is it that you can promise to your customers? Question number four, who did you create this brand for? And in this question, this is getting you to think about your target audience. I know a lot of times when people are talking about their target audience, it kind of leaves you stuck and you're confused. You don't know who your customer is. You don't know how to answer the question about the target audience. So let's just reword it. We won't use the term target audience. Let's just talk about who did you create this brand for? Why? Who is this brand for? Sometimes when you create a brand, you're thinking about yourself let's say you created a brand that's surrounded about mothers it's supposed to make raising a child easier or there's an essential item you've developed that makes nursing easier or anything like that I'm just throwing out an idea for you so initially you might have been your target audience because you're a new mother and you've discovered these things that you need that makes parenting easier for you so you are the customer now describe you so you can find more people like you that is your customer so again who did you create this brand for? And also think about in this step what they need. And the last question, question number five, can you come up with a creative marketing tactic to develop loyal customers? Are you creative? Are you good at marketing? Can you think outside the box? Those just other ways for me to word this same question. In this question, Think about brands like Jordan, Telfar, or in the very beginning, I asked you, who are some of your favorite brands? Think about your favorite brands. But specifically, right now in this moment, think about like Jordan, Telfar. What do they have in common? Every time they have a new release, everyone goes flocking to their release to try to hurry up and buy their product. And usually by the end of like the first hour, a couple hours, by the end of that first day, the product is sold out. So it's known to be hard to get. Why is it hard to get because their supply is always lower than their demand and because they have that popularity built around their branding people run to it and why are people running to it everyone wants what others can't have so if you can be the first to get it and other people don't have it you just like you have those bragging rights to say I got it you didn't they have that marketing tactic where their supply is always lower than their demand they can make more but they're not going to because it builds that hype around their brand and everyone goes rushing to try to get it first. Or another example, think about Tesla who is innovative and always creating these concepts that look unique. Now there are a lot of car brands out there that build these concept cars. When do you actually get to buy those concept cars other than just seeing it at a car show? Well, Tesla actually builds and sells these concept cars that you can actually buy. And their cars in the beginning, when they're first out there, they stood out. Out, just like they now have the cyber truck it looks like a concept car but you actually see it on the road you can actually buy it it's not just at a show so their branding is more innovative their cars stand out from the others so is your branding more about being innovative is that your marketing tactic or I'll give you one more example and I'm just gonna use a generic brand that most people know and it's going to be Walmart Walmart is known as even their tagline everyday low pricing people go to Walmart because they know product is typically cheaper there even if it's only 10 cents cheaper, you know that chances are it's going to be cheaper there. That's what they're known for, for having the lower pricing. That is their marketing tactic and that's what drives people there. You want cheaper product, you go to Walmart. People even talk about like Walmart's clothing, how cheap it is. So for a long time, you don't want people to know that you're wearing something from Walmart, especially like being a student in school. Now you have people on social media talking about the outfits they're building off of Walmart, but it was always known Walmart stuff is cheap. So no one wants to actually be caught wearing that stuff that was their marketing tactic but people still buy it because it's cheap especially adults when you recognize the value of your dollar and you don't want to just waste it on anything so determine your marketing tactic that's really going to build that loyalty to your brand but answer these five questions and that's your brand you have already started establishing the branding around your business now it's all about pushing it out there to gain the customers that you need and building that loyalty with your your customers but as long as you remain consistent with these five things that we're talking about and really push your brand out there and market it you will have an established brand in no time that's day 11 of heatwave hustle your ultimate summer success boot camp branding I know I made that seem really easy I just wanted to put it into terms that is understandable by most versus these proper business terms that tend to scare people off I don't want to scare you off because it's easier than it may 
they sound. So I want to put it in general terms where it can make more sense. Answer those five questions and really start to break down your brand and then build off of that and just be consistent with it and you have your brand. That's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Cheers.